Hi, my name is John Davison, a for hire software engineer, educator, and counselor in San Francisco. I'm always available to connect via JD at startuplandia.io. This video will cover how to set up To Eat App, a tutorial application that explores the use of Facebook's React, Relay, and GraphQL tools paired with a standard Ruby on Rails web server. The application code runs at toeatapp.startuplandia.io and all tutorial blog posts are available at startuplandia.io. In this video, we will quickly set up the app, demonstrate how Webpack and the asset pipeline work together, and discuss the relevance of a few key configuration files. Let's go ahead and configure the application by cloning the GitHub repository. Let's do a standard Rails install and a standard node install. Let's go ahead and create our databases. And let's go ahead and migrate the database. Now let's run a server. And in another terminal window, I'm going to run a Webpack watching process. We now have on our local host the application suite running. One of the things I really like about Relay and GraphQL is that it's extremely fast because it's making really intelligent reads and writes to the local database. Uh, this app might seem simplistic because it's quite small, but I have seen these tools work and the ideology of how the tools work together is incredibly powerful. Let's go ahead and order some tacos with bacon from the taco guys. And let's create a new truck. We'll call it uh, Unicorn Tears. And it's from the city. Let's quickly walk through how this stack works. Notice the contents of application.js. Our real server doesn't know anything about any of the underlying Node or JavaScript transformational technologies that are currently being used. The only file Rails is requiring that has JS application code in it is pack slash transpiled output. Pack slash transpiled output is created by the web pack process, which is watching app.jsx. Anytime a change occurs in app.jsx or any of the other code that it requires, Webpack converts the entire contents of app.jsx and all includes into packed slash transpiled output. Notice here in the React routing file, if I was to add a console log statement, this is the router, notice our Webpack process just refreshed itself and repacked packed slash transpiled output. And now if we go to our app and we refresh the app, we should see a log statement. Notice this is the router. This other log statement comes from another part of the app and it is relevant, but at a latter part in the tutorial. Something else to notice is that all the JavaScript application logic lives inside JavaScript source. And we're going to be using ES6 module imports to require dependencies throughout the application. Let's go ahead and look at some files of note. Here we are looking at package.json which contains all the JavaScript dependencies that we need. Notice that we are acquiring things like React, Relay, and GraphQL here. As previously mentioned, our Rails server won't be using anything other than the most vanilla usage of the asset pipeline, i.e. render this JavaScript file to, that Webpack just built. Let's look at schema.json. 
Schema.json tells GraphQL and Relay about the shape, location, and required params needed to interact in a declarative fashion with the application server's data store. Also, very important to note, GraphQL.rake contains a rake task that will programmatically build Schema.json. In case you're noticing, Schema.json is a very, very large file and is generally speaking not intended for human consumption. If you find yourself attempting to debug the output of the Schema.json file, you've possibly taken a wrong term and you might want to retrace your steps. Moving right along, let's look at webpack.config.js. Webpack is a node library that enables us to do things like transpile. In this case, we'll be using Webpack and Babel together to transpile our JSX files that have been written with ES6 into browser-friendly, regular JavaScript. One other file that's also very important to look at is .babelrc, which provides Babel some configuration instructions. Babel is also a really smart node library that converts ES6 compliant JavaScript into browser runnable normal JavaScript. To close off this section, it's a brief overview of how Webpack and Babel can be used to transpile JavaScript in the context of a Ruby on Rails server. I'm John Davison, a for hire software developer in San Francisco. If you have questions, please view the source code or email me jd at startuplandia.io.